another episode of Hope After Narcissistic Abuse. Today's episode, we have Miles Mason. Miles is a, a an attorney and a CPA, although he practices as, as a divorce attorney in Memphis, Tennessee. He brings a wealth of experience and knowledge, especially with dealing with narcissism and how to divorce a narcissist. And the show notes, you will see several links to his blogs and videos that you can refer to. Today, we'll be talking more specifically about just how to divorce a narcissist and um, for in, how, in financial abuse. Thank you, Miles, for joining us. My pleasure. So, you know, let's start off with you know, what is financial abuse? Financial abuse is crossing the line between smart budgeting and control. So many people believe that in order to eventually retire, you've got to have a pretty strict budget and stick to it. Fine, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But what tends to happen if one of the parties uh, is very controlling is that they try to clamp down on spending. Well, spending is an adult activity. And what you'll see is that there's, there's this progression over time, ratcheting up the level of control, including but not limited to saying, limiting access to marital funds, limiting access to uh, credit cards, and ways to use those funds. And so there'll be a strict budget and what you'll eventually see, especially now that technology is big, is uh, so much important part of our lives, the abusive spouse will have fraud alerts and get notifications upon it, you know, anything being spent by the other spouse. Now, what that means is while controlling spending is in general a good idea, what it turns into is the abused spouse not being able to spend any money on themselves or and or not having access to financial resources to say consult with a lawyer or do anything that's not pre-approved by that uh, by the, the other spouse. Well, at some point, we cross over that line and it becomes a situation that's almost as bad as physical abuse because it's going to change a person's personality over time. The, the design is to erode the self-esteem, self-confidence, and ab ability of that person to make smart decisions in their own best interest. So then it becomes isolating because you don't have the resources to really do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. so, Including therapy. Right. Um, remember we, when I was married, we had a spreadsheet that turned into a profit loss statement, it turned into pie charts, and each one spreadsheet fed into the next, into the next. And, you know, I was supposed to itemize hairspray, baby wipes, um, and then like the groceries were dry goods versus grocery or pantry and then refrigerated frozen foods. And then there, there were categories and went from that it had categories. And then at profit loss statement, it turned into the grocery store versus eating out and then children versus adults. And it was asinine, but if I didn't do it, it there was trouble and I had to explain for it. Yeah, the in in general, and I guess one way as a CPA, I see the spreadsheets as a wonderful thing. Okay, for this financial, <laughs> we love spreadsheets. Okay, the question is: Is there a budget item for other? Okay, so 